there. So if you can get all of that at Cigar Company and Gentleman's Barber Shop. And one of the co-founders is Orion Armstrong. He joins me in studio. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. You're all nicely shaved and your hair is nicely cut. <laughs> Just no cigar in your mouth. Uh, because you, it's, it's fine. You or they throw you out of the building or something. Uh, tell me this this concept of um, we were just talking a few minutes ago about uh, about a, a shave, a barbershop shave, and there's nothing like a barbershop shave because it's, it's it's like two days later, you st it still feels clean. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Just the even the entire experience. I always say it's like a men's spa. When you put a proper hot hot towel shave and you yeah. get a proper grooming experience, uh, it's like no other experience. Yeah, and and are there are enough people around. Do you think to, who want that? Who are absolutely? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, one of the unique things with our our space is if you have somebody who's getting married, or especially with Father's Day coming up, a lot of father and son combos are coming in, and uh, getting a hot towel properly groomed. They're sitting outside having a, a cigar. We have a 3,000 square foot outdoor cigar patio. Um, it's a complete bespoke experience and a gentleman's experience. You, you can smoke on the patio, I thought? Absolutely, because we don't serve alcohol or food. It is a legal conforming smoking patio, oh. and we've set it up beautifully for uh, smoking enjoyment. Right, okay, well that makes sense to me. And this is, you're in more of what's are you in Markham? We're right at, we're in the historical area of uh, Markham Village, so uh -huh. right at the corner of Markham Road and Highway 7. So you got one of those cool older buildings? It's a 130 year old building that we spent the last 18 months restoring. It's magnificent. Yeah. It's one of the funnest projects. You know, what, I, I, I look around where we are here downtown and, and there's only, we're in one of those kinds of buildings. It's like a five story kind of deal and they, they've done a really nice job in next door as well. But then I look around me and all I see is glass and steel, glass yeah. and steel. And it's just, I just, it, we had so, those beautiful, thank God there are, I mean, I know people, they go nuts when they, they were confronted by the, uh, the heritage people because they can't make any changes because it, it's a historical location. But to me, you get rid of that, you get rid of your, your past, and it's, it, it takes a, a huge, a huge piece out of your gut. You know? Well, plus there's ways you can, we, we, we blended sort of like a modern sort of mix of, uh, of uh, contemporary with, um, while in maintaining the integrity of the heritage feel to it. So it's almost like mid-century modern. And to be honest with you, I think it works really well. People really appreciate and enjoy mm -hmm. a quality uh, contemporary, but, but you know, historically preserved facility. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the concept of, of cigar smoking, uh, the number of people who smoke cigarettes at least uh, has dropped and it is dropping each and every year. Cigars, on the other hand, you're not supposed to inhale them, so that makes them safer, cleaner, easier to, uh, to handle. Are people, uh, are the numbers of cigar smokers going down in the, the same rate of cigarette smokers? Ironically, it's not. Uh, it's a good question. Not a lot of people ask that. But uh, one of the things that we try to create, we all often look at this, we create it to be a top 10 sort of North American cigar destination and really centered around curating a bespoke experience for, you know, really speaking to the gentleman or the kind of experience where people really feel royal when they come in. Mm -hmm. So one of the challenges have been is traditionally, at least over the last 20 or 30 years, a lot of the, this is not aimed to take any shots at anybody, but a lot of the Tobacconists have sort of treated it as almost like a regular store exchange or selling products rather than curating an experience. Mm -hmm. And it's still a lifestyle or a luxury indulgement. I don't care if it's a 25 year old guy who's stepping up to get married and he's buying a cigars for his groomsmen. Even if he's spending $18 a cigar, that's, that purchase is as significant to them as somebody who might be a cigar aficionado spending two hundred dollars on a cigar. Yeah, and you know one thing about a, a, a good cigar, a, a, a cigarette smoke. If you don't smoke cigarettes, drives people crazy when you're around cigarette smoke. But people who smoke a good cigar, even those people who don't smoke will say that smells really nice. A good cigar, not the five buck or the the, the, the fifty cent sure. cheap thing, you know. I don't want to mention any brands. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. For sure. Well, the same is true with pipe tobacco. I just, I don't know, for a lot of us, I think we remember either whether it was a grandfather or yeah. somebody growing up, the smell, the aroma. But I also really think that when people are introduced properly 
in the right environment. And somebody could have a cigar now, have a cigar a month from now or a year from now. It, they're not going to become, uh, you know, caught the way that they do with a cigarette. And I think people are really longing for a real gentleman's experience. I mean, look at a wedding for an example. There's all kinds of, you know, uh, wedding nights and the bribes get out and they get pampered, but the men. They don't have a real reason to engage in the wedding other than getting married, of course. I don't want to get shot from my wife when she <laughs> listens to this later, but, uh, but but the truth is... Good backpedal there, Will, right? Yeah, good yeah, yeah, for sure. But you know what? The truth is that <clears throat> uh, all the men and all the women, they come in and they're wowed, and we've just organically in the last... We've only been open two weeks, but we've had five or six uh, in, uh, wedding parties already booked. People are coming in, they're seeing it, they're understanding it, and surprisingly, the wives are like, you know what, my husband's definitely doing this. This morning alone, I popped into the shop, and one of the wives brought the husband, he was like, I don't know about this hot towel, and he came in, and you could see him light up in the place, and he was like, wow, and he was taken away. Yeah. Men, uh, there, there's been a lack of attention, especially in wedding and event places and I think there's a real movement around the gentleman's experience yeah. and I think it's it's from our from our exposure so far has been widely accepted and uh, a lot of people are expressing interest and surprisingly a lot of women even on our grand opening I was amazed at how many women were just loving the space yeah. and you've got uh, gifts as well like uh, flasks uh, cigars obviously and uh ashtrays yeah. because yeah, cigars know, need their own ashtrays for sure we have we have a pile of accessories that uh, speak to a cigar smoker and also quality grooming products. But one of the unique things that we have are activations for events where we'll customize, rather than just etching on a, on a tin can, we sort of do like a full color customization. Picture somebody getting married, they've got a, a, a full box humidor in honor of the bride and groom, the cigars are properly and professionally banded, they have giftware for the groomsmen, we have a cigar roller on site, hot mm -hmm. towel station. So it's it's about curating the experience. So we do internal events on site, but we also do them off site. And a lot of the accessories, as much as they speak to the needs of the smoker and are great for Father's Day, they become great accent pieces or, or, or sort of activations at a corporate event, mm -hmm. a special function or a wedding. Yeah, it sounds like a really cool place. Cigar Company and Gentleman's Barber Shop is located in Markham, Orion well, Armstrong. Thank you for popping by, I appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Hopefully when you're in Markham, you'll pop by. Hey, next weekend's Father's Day. Absolutely. I hope you people hint, are hint, guys. paying attention. Exactly. It is 1228 at News Talk 1010. Mm -hmm.